Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. Today I'm down at the Aintree store here at American Golf. I've got my trap man set up, both of you won golf balls, uh, but I'm here to talk to you today about the back and injuries evolving the Stack and Tilt Golf Swing. So I recently went to Stack and Tilt Camp in Spain and we had a presentation there from Dr. Bush and he sort of backed up a lot of arguments uh, regarding Stack and Tilt. I'm just going to start with a few quotes from his presentation. Stack and Tilt is a godsend for senior players. The motion of the knees, it protects the back. All motions described by Stack and Tilt are within the body's normal range and plane of motion. The golf swing is a 3D motion. So therefore we need three planes to describe a motion. The goal of keeping the upper hub, your head, centered requires motion in all three planes, extending, tilting, and turning. So just looking at that first quote there about stack and tilt being a godsend for senior players, I think it's a godsend for a lot of players really. There's, there's no proof in there that stack and tilt is bad for your back, and if anything, it, it helps you. So just talking about like the range of movement like the average person has, they have around about 30 degrees of rotation in the shoulders before you need to start moving another part to help make a golf swing. So if I was just to move my shoulders, I could only move them about 30 degrees or create a 30 degree shoulder turn. Now, going back to that first quote where Dr. Bush was talking about the knees, that's really important because in the second tilt swing, we do encourage you to change the knee flex and that in turn encourages you to turn your hips and the more you turn your hips, the more range of movement you can have in your golf swing. The only way I can make like a 90 degree turn in my shoulders is if I turn my hips. And by changing my knee flex, that helps me turn my hips. You take one of the famous golfers on the LPJ Tour, Michelle Wee. Very well known for her sort of injury she's had in recent years. And if you look at her backswing, it's very much upper body dominated. So there's hardly any hip turn hardly any knee flexion. In fact, she encourages her right leg or her right knee to stay flexed in the swing. And that really restricts your movement and there's no sort of coincidence that she's had a number of injuries over the years. So I thought that was a really uh, important quote there from Dr. Bush just talking about the um, movement of the knees and how important that is to enable you to turn your body without putting too much strain on it. So it often does get criticized for being bad for your back but if anything, it's, it's a godsend as Dr. Bush said there. That sort of moves on to that second point there about how the motions described by Stack and Tilt are within the body's normal range of movement. So in the golf swing, if we just take the back swing for example, as I set up, I have my feet turned out and that's gonna help me turn my body and also straight, take strain off my knee and my ankle on the swing. And as I make a back swing to the top, you'll see how the knee flex starts to change. That helps me rotate my hips. And then from there, I can make a full shoulder turn without putting too much strain on my back. I find it very difficult to make a sort of 90 degree turn. In fact, I can't if I don't turn my lower body. So by changing knee flex, that is gonna help you sort of turn your lower body. So just moving on to that third quote there from Dr. Bush. It says that the golf swing is a 3D motion, which it is. Obviously, when you look at a golf swing, it's often from a 2D perspective. So from a camera, you're looking at it from one angle. But when you start to talk about 3D, it starts to become a little bit more complicated, but it is very important to understand sort of the motion. So he says there, uh, there's sort of three planes of motion. So you have the extending part, which I've talked about before, but that's the spine change in flex. So in the back swing, for example, the spine actually extends this way. So from, if I make a back swing, you can see how that club now points up. So that's that extending motion, that's that motion there. Uh, you also have the tilting motion, which helps keep uh, sort of the centered head. So why I'm extending. I'm also side bending as well to stop my head from lifting up. You, so you can see the tilting, um, probably best to see this from two different angles. So from set up, you see from my belt to my sternum, it's sort of um, pretty much vertical. As I make a backswing, it's no longer vertical, and that's where that left sort of tilt comes in. So you've got the extending, the tilting, uh, and also the turning. So whilst I'm also doing those first two movements, I'm also turning as well. And I think a lot of 
uh, instruction over the years have just been talking about turning when actually uh, with 3D analysis you can see that the body does extend and it does tilt and it does turn. So by doing those three movements it helps keep a centred hub. So what he means by a centred hub is uh, sort of the centre of the shoulders or the, the head, you could say it's the head, keeping the head centred. Uh, that's obviously one of the sort of key movements uh, to help swing in a circle but also to help with strike as well. Very important to keep the head still. So I'm going to hit a couple of shots here. Uh, first up I'm going to do my Michelle Reeves swing. So I'm not going to turn my hips, I'm not going to change my knee flex. I'm just going to turn my upper body. I've had a few comments where people say I'm straightening my back leg, it's not good for you. but um, Or I'd hit the ball further if I didn't do that. And I don't necessarily agree with that. So I'm just going to try and best ability here, not turn my lower body. But still hit it pretty good. See what I can do. Okay, it wasn't easy. Didn't didn't feel like I turned my hips there. Interesting to see what it looks like on the camera. Okay, now I'm gonna do my normal golf swing. So I'm gonna allow my knee flex to change, allow my hips to turn, see if I just obviously create my normal back swing with the knee flex changing. I've got my feet turned out here as well. Okay, not bad. Okay, so I didn't really try and uh, do anything different other than my normal swing there. Uh, so sort of 88 miles an hour. So you can see I've created sort of 15 or 16 miles an hour more from my normal golf swing. So I'm not saying you can't play like Michelle Wee, but it does make it harder. It is going to put strain on your body, so I wouldn't recommend it. So God, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Dr. Bush for those quotes. Really interesting presentation. I learned a lot from that. But golfers, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't really, please follow me on my other social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.